Hey, what's up, y'all? So I've made a few updates to the uh, Triumph bobber recently, and I uh, thought we'd uh, go over it and take a look at it. I haven't posted about this bike in a little bit on the channel, so let's take a look at it. All right, so, so the most obvious change that you'll see is the white walls. Um, and I ordered these up the other day. I actually had a nail in the rear tire. Um, which was a bit of a pain in the butt, but I decided if I was going to have to take the rear tire off anyway That I might as well go through the effort of going ahead and update the white walls Because that's what I really want and I've seen uh, years ago When the first versions of these bobbers came out I saw one done by a uh, local shop here and they did an excellent job on it The bike was just gorgeous and ever since then I've, I've always wanted one of these with white walls So anyway We'll take a look. Uh, you remember some of the previous updates. I have the, the British Customs pipes there. I uh, absolutely love those. This is not a yet a full X pipe. Um, I think I've said in previous videos, I don't like for my bike to be super loud. I think it, it's definitely louder now than it was, and it does sound really good, and I love it, but my drive to work is mostly back road residential streets, and so I just try not to, you know, <laughs> it's pretty loud without that there, so I don't, you know teach their own on that but i love the way it looks um and i may yet decide to go x pipe on it so we'll see um so obviously the wheels we talked about those the tires so these are the avon cobra chromes so they're similar to the stock avons but the tread pattern is different you'll see that instead of it being the cobra pattern on the sidewall itself it's actually on the more into the tread pattern and you have more of a, a swoopy nature to the actual tread pattern on the wheels and of course these are the white white walls which is the biggest difference so really happy with that uh, moving along on the bike the next most obvious change will be the seat this is the british customs um black stitch seat so really happy with how that turned out that looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. Comfortable, too. Um, it's not, you know, I, I've seen some comments that it's like way more comfortable. This is the gel seat, by the way. Way more comfortable than the stock seat. Now, I will say I just did these upgrades, and I don't have hundreds of miles on this yet. So, uh, you know, with the upgrades. So maybe I need to put a couple hundred miles on it before I can comment on really whether it's better. I do feel a little bit of a difference, uh, maybe slightly less harsh in some parts of the seat. So we'll see, but it's not like a, you know, major difference that you feel. It, to me, it was just kind of a, okay, it's a little bit different, but not too major of a change. Um, the next kind of minor change here is the gas cap. And I apologize, I don't remember the brand name of this. I'll have to look that up later. But um, this is a pretty cool gas cap because A, it's a matte finish. Most of these I've found that are flush are not a matte finish they're a glossy finish and i really wanted something matte on top of the tank to look nice there so what you do is you press on this you rotate and it pops up then you can take the gas cap off so that's kind of cool i was really happy about that finding that was neat um so yeah not a whole lot else different so far from what you've seen in the past on the bike just the the seat the wheels the obviously we've done the british customs video on the pipes before um, added a power adapter on there. I have the uh, rear flasher set up on the thing, the, the VisiTech module for that, where you can program how it changes. So that's pretty neat. Um, some things I'm probably going to do to this in the future. I know that I want to do the heated grips because even though I'm in Florida, I tend to do most of my riding in the winter, or at least I like to continue riding in the winter. And in my part of Florida, it does get down pretty chilly, you know, down into the 30s or even 20s sometimes. So, um, and I don't live far from work, so I can still ride most of the time. I'm probably gonna do something different with the battery strap at some point in the future. Uh, right now, you might be wondering about the covers on the back. If you've seen my previous video on that, that's the Moly panels. I just don't have any bags on it right now after I put the new wheels and all on, or the new tires on. Um, I may do a brass shifter. Uh, I may do something with that to give that a little bit of a pop. 
and I'll probably do something with like the uh, throttle body covers or something like that. Most of what I'm gonna do from here on out is pretty simple stuff. I really don't have any more major changes planned. I might do something with the blinker in the rear end. I'm not a big fan of the stock rear end setup here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna design something for that or what. Um, I kind of would like still to have the light on it, but to have the, the tag maybe tucked up more by the tail light and to have less bulgy um, blinkers. But, you know, that that's a minor thing and not something I'm really planning on tackling right away. It's a pretty simple project when I get around to wanting to do it. But so far, I'm really happy with how this turned out. To me, the white walls and the seat alone just make a major difference in the look. Um, nice classic look. I don't plan, I know it's really popular to chop the fenders on these or to buy short fenders for them. I don't plan on doing that. I actually really like the, the sort of old school look on the fenders. To me, that's one of the attractions of the bike. So I plan on uh, keeping that. I'll probably do away with the uh, Bobber logo on the side of the bike. I'm not a real fan of the name of the bike in general, the Bobber, but um, I get it. You know, and I get the reason they did it, but I'm not not a huge fan of having, you know, bobber on the side of the bike. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy. Um, I might do some, uh, I have a small mini lathe here, and I may do some uh, sp brass work for some of the screws and things. I tend to like having the brass accents in there on this bike, so I'll probably do some things with brass to try to make some special covers, or I may buy some brass covers for some other parts that I don't want to lay out myself. But uh, otherwise, I'm pretty happy. Uh, let me know what you think of the changes. You prefer it with the black wheels or do you like the white walls more? I'm a big fan of that. And uh, if you've tried the British Custom seat and have many miles on it, what do you think of it? So anyway, y'all take care. This is the most recent update on my bobber.